scent. I get paint splatters all over my favorite t-shirt. Yes. Did I also break my ultimate favorite glass today? Also, yes. But things are looking up because today we are making a food video. We are going to be recreating an iconic British fast food, but the vegan version just to piss off Piers Morgan. <laughs> The Greg's Vegan Sausage Roll, a British classic. It turned heads across the nation back when it was released in 2019. Everybody was talking about it. Even the absolute monstrosity has tried it. I've also eaten vegan sausage rolls. So we're going to recreate it today, DIY style, and I will show you how. The truly magical part of this recreation today is that it only needs not one, not two, but three ingredients. Three ingredients. Number one sausage. I have gone for the Richmond meat-free sausages because that's the one she recommended in the recipe. Number two, puff pastry. Um, you could make puff pastry from scratch if you really really wanted to, if your heart so desired. We're not about that life. We've gone for the ready rolled puff pastry. You'll actually find that most puff pastries are in fact, they are in fact vegan friendly. And then the third ingredient which probably isn't even that necessary. You could make this two ingredients probably, but we're juicing it up a bit. And also using vegan milk. So, oh, that's my fridge telling me to shut it. Also, what? I just realized I've put this in there. Uh, anyway, yes, so vegan sausage rolls. Let's get into it then. I have my handy dandy um, recipe here. Let's ignore the sink, let's ignore the pipes. Let's... This corner of the kitchen, we don't know her. I'm looking at my recipe and it says prep time 10 minutes, which means for me 25 minutes and cooking time 20 minutes. Equipment, sharp knife. It says a plastic chopping board. Is plastic really necessary? We have a wooden chopping board, so that's what we're gonna use. Pastry brush. I bought a silicone pastry brush, especially for this video. I was actually gonna buy one the other week and Mark was like, you'll never use that. Look at me now. Right, so let's put you here. Actually, maybe let's not put you there. Let's put you here. This is my first food video in this kitchen. Oh, you can see the pipes in the background. That's not good. This is my first like dedicated food video in this kitchen and um, I'm trying to find places to put you. That was basically all I was trying to tell you. So yeah, I have never used puff pastry in my life. I'm not really a pastry girl, which is funny because I love Greg's sausage rolls. I don't really know how it works. I guess we'll find out together. Those pipes are a bit distracting. Let's see if I can move you over here actually. Actually, am I gonna move you again? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can you go there? Do you mind? So anyway, yes, line a baking tray with baking paper. First off, school is that you do not have baking paper. Grant. Can you bake things on things that aren't baking paper? Puff. Oh, fuck. Puff pastry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am going to move you again. <coughs> oh, that's an angle. You're actually currently on top of my air fryer. Well, puff pastry. It says to cut it lengthways and then across again. Oh, it's definitely squint. Uh, that's okay. I think this recipe makes four sausage rolls. I'm not very sure. I probably should not have my broken glass here. Um, we're just gonna put that up there. Now, next it says to take the skins off the sausages, which I'm sure is going to be an enjoyable task. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> well, what is that? <sighs> we're gonna do that with all the sausages. Ew. The sausage skin kind of reminds me of a used condom, but um, We'll get over it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Hello everybody, I'm back. I have de-skinned the sausages. Let's not talk about the, the skins. Okay, let's just not talk about it. Put them away. Right, so now we have to form a larger sausage out of the sausage is. <laughs> so here we have eight sausages. Wow. Would you look at that? Raw and ready. We are going to be making these into two large sausages. The length of one of these. Squish them. <laughs> and just make them into... Oh my god. I'm so... I'm so 
so glad this is not real meat. <laughs> so this is the length. We have two pretty endowed sausages. <laughs> now I think we have to cut these in half. Wait, is this not baking paper? Can I not just pop this onto the baking tray? Surely. So it says to put them like up near the top half, but like leave a little gap at the top if that instruction makes any sense to you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna try and make it look like a Greg Stephen sausage roll. I feel like I shouldn't be holding a large knife like this. Here's a smaller knife. I think that would be safer for this endeavor. Long slits and then two short dashy kind of slits and then a long slit and then two dashy kind of slits. Ah, starting to look like a Greg sausage roll already. This is actually quite therapeutic and I don't know why. This is the first food video that I've filmed in four months. It's quite despicable of me, really. Let's just say that this summer has been a summer. <laughs> I don't know how close these slits should be. So I've done like a long slit and then two short slits and then long slit and two short slits. And basically done that the whole way up the pastry. The past two months, no, three months, I've been putting all of my energy into decorating the flat. Slowly getting back into PhD work. By the way, there may be some more PhD content coming your way very soon because exciting things may or may not be happening in the very near future. The slits are slitted. It says to brush the inside of the pastry before rolling it, which I think is very bizarre, but we'll listen to it because we're not the experts here. I'm using unsweetened soy milk just because I feel like that's the best plant-based milk for baking brush. The inside. We've wetted... Oh, I feel like... Ooh, oh, oh, it's starting to look like a garlic sausage roll, guys. Getting rid of the edge is necessary, but it says to do that. But yes, as I was saying, I am feeling quite hyped to be getting back into filming food videos again. I might be filming three, potentially four videos this week, going from zero to a hundred real quick. I have a week of annual leave off of my PhD, which is why I'm utilizing it to film things. I'm incredibly looking forward to the video that I'm filming tomorrow. Should I give you a hint? I feel like I need to bake more. It just makes you feel well accomplished. Oh my god. Can you, can you see that? Looks like a mother friggin' sauce and roll. Am I right? I feel like a proud mother. They're so long. That's what she said. <laughs> There's my babies. Let's preheat the oven now to 200 degrees Celsius. Cool. Now for the final touch. I really hope that these taste as good as Greg's vegan sausage rolls. And you could change up the sausage every week. It is now time to bake these. Bonjour, mon petit pois. It is the same day. I'm just wearing a different t-shirt. As much as I love my Space Readers t-shirt, I'm going to Sunday dinner at March Mom and Dad's and it's a bit covered in paint. So I put on this one instead. I don't know what makes me think this t-shirt is more acceptable. The sausage rolls are ready. I've never been so proud of anything in my whole entire life. What? They look so good. <laughs> I'm so good. Oh. I did that, guys. How legitimate do they look? I'm so proud. The pastry feels so good. I do it. Okay. Oh my god, look at the bottom. Oh my god, the bottom. Oh. Stop it. Look at the bottom. Look at the. Oh. Oh my god.
what this is looks like. Red. <gasps> They're so like flaky. Oh my god, I could cry. Can you see like the pastry particles? Oh my god, stop it. I want to do so many things with pastry now. Stop it. Stop that right now. <sighs> okay, I just gave my sausage rolls a little um, photo shoot on my windowsill. Look, look, chat. No shade to Greg's or anything, but you would never, never find vegan sausage rolls that are this golden brown. Guys, if you're ever having a bad day, let me tell you. Just make some sausage rolls, because I, I feel so accomplished right now. I feel like I could conquer anything. I might actually, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I might actually like cut them up and take them to family dinner. Um, I don't know if anyone will appreciate them because none of them are vegans, but like, oh, the pastry. They look better than Greg's, I'm sorry. Sorry Greg's, but they look, they look better. I did that, I, I did that. Look at that pastry. <laughs> Cheers guys. I'm impressed. It doesn't have that like typical salty Greg's sausage roll taste to it, but it is pretty darn good. And dare I say it, maybe even slightly better. You get more like sausage filling. The um, pastry is flakier. The pastry feels like more buttery, even though there's no butter in it. That is just great. Mm, that is unreal. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is so good. The verdict for me is um, go make yourself a Greg sausage roll right this very second. Yeah, 12 out of 10 would recommend. I need another bite. It's so good. Mm.